everybody. The purpose of this video is to practice finding the area of regular and irregular shapes. So we're going to start with what we already know about multiplication and arrays to help us solve area problems. So when would you need to know about area? Well, if you wanted to get any work done at your house where you needed to lay tile or you wanted to add carpet to a room, you have to know the square footage of the room in order to know how much carpet to buy or how much tile to buy. And you have to measure that to figure out how much space is inside the room. And then you know how much to buy. So let's use what we know about arrays to help us solve this. Here is an array, just like we used in math earlier this year. We've got one square unit here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So this dimension right here is thirteen square units, because that's one square and it's one unit. So now let's find the dimension um, on this side right here going uh, vertical. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this dimension is 6. So the total dimensions can be written in terms of a multiplication problem. It's 13 times, or you could say the word by, 13 by 6. Now, if I wanted to know how many individual squares are inside this in this rectangle, it would be 13 by 6 or 13 times 6. So I'm multiplying the length times the width of the room. So 13 times 6, well, let's break it down into 10 times 6 equals 60, and then 3 times 6 equals 18, and now I add them up and I get my 13 times 6 equals 78. Let me just move that down a little bit so you can see it better. So when I add them up, so the area for this is 78. But it's not just plain old 78. It's 78 square units. So in this case, let's say that this was 13 feet. Let's change this to 13 feet and this side was 6 feet. My answer would be 78 feet squared. And in class I showed you how to write a little 2. That shows you that it's squared. You just put that right up top. 70 feet, 78 feet squared. Alright, so let's keep going on. So here's an example of a room. I put in some furniture so you could see what, how the room would be laid out. But the owner, right now they have carpet, and they want to replace it, and they want to put down tile floor. They've got their kitchen here, and their kids are spilling food on the floor, and it's really hard to clean up with the carpet. So they want to put down tile, and they got to know how much to buy. So before they go to Home Depot, they're, they're trying to get the measurements of the room. So let's help them. Let's figure out the dimensions of this horizontal line first. One, two, three, four, five. 6, that one's hidden, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, so this dimension is 18, let's say 18 feet. And now let's figure out the vertical dimension. Well, since that couch is in the way, I'm going to look over here. All right, so let's say we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this dimension is 8 feet. So how would I figure that out? Well, I'm going to do 18, I'm going to times it by 8, because I know that in an array, if I want to know the dimensions inside, I multiply one dimension, the length, times the width. All right, so let's do 10 times 8 equals 80, and then I've got my 8 times 8, which equals 64, and now... I can go ahead and I can add them up. All right, let me get back here. So now I've got 18 times 8. All right, let's see. Equals, whoops, not minus, equals 144. Now, it's 144, but remember, it's feet 
and then it's squared because we're looking for the inside, their square units rather than just a plain old linear foot. All right, so let's keep going on. Now, I don't have the grid. I just have the dimensions, and I want to figure out the area inside this room. I could take the time and I could draw in 32 columns, but that would take forever. So let's just use the array to help us. And we're going to do 32 times 7 equals. All right, so I'm going to break it into 30 times 7 equals. And then I've got my 2 times 7 equals. All right, 30 times 7 is 210. I've got my 2 times my 7 equals 14. Let me move that over so my 10s and my 1s align properly. All right, so now I can add it up. All right, let's see. We've got 30 plus 2 is 32. All groups of 7, so the 7 stays the same equals 210 plus 14. So I've got 4, 2, 2. 2, 2, 4. 224. Now it's not just feet, remember, it is squared feet. So you have to put that little 2 up above. And that stands for feet squared. All right, so now I want you to start thinking about some rooms in your house that maybe aren't a perfect rectangle. And how can you find the area of those? Well, if I look at these shapes, I can see that if there was a line here, I would have a rectangle. Uh, I don't really like that line. Let me make it straight. Let me use my line tool. And I want to change the color so it stands out a little bit different. So I'm going to go straight down here. So now if I find the area of this space and the area of this space, then I just combine them and I'll know the area of the total room. So let's figure out the area of this one. I've got one, two, three, four square units. And then over here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six square units. All right, so I've got my 4 and my 6, so that area is 4 times 6, which you all know is 24. So this one's 24 square units. All right, so let's try this one. Let's figure this one out. Now, I'm not counting all the way over because I drew this, this purple line here to separate these two rectangles, so I'm just going to start counting at that line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this one is 6 square units, and this one is 1, 2, 3, 4 square units. Look at that. So now I've got another 6 times 4 equals 24 square units. So now I take this 24, and I take this 24 for this rectangle, and I put them together. So what do you get? 24 plus 24 equals 48 square units. Now we could take the time to count all these up, but it's much faster to use our multiplication. So let's try another one. I'm going to draw on another line, and I want to make it a different color. Let's go for a bright green. I could divide right here, or I could divide right here. It really doesn't matter, but I'm breaking this into three different rectangles. So I could do it like that. I could instead make the line come over here. So then I have this one, this one, and this one. Let's go with that. All right, so let's figure out the area. i got to figure out the dimensions of this square right here. I think it's a square, yep. 1, 2, 3, 4 by 1, 2, 3, 4. So that area is 4 times 4 equals 16. And let's say that this one is, we know these are inches, squared inches. Inches, and then I'm going to put that little 2 to say that it's squared. 
right over top. So let's see this one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's the same thing. So why don't I just clone that and bring it over because it's the same side. I mean, it's the same size. Clone that. All right, so we've got 16 squared inches here, 16 squared inches here. So let's figure out how many squared inches this room is. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that side is four. Now remember, I'm going all the way along this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this dimension is twelve. So now I have four times twelve, which we know is forty-eight inches, and then that is also going to be squared. So now, since I broke it into three squares, I've got three numbers that I need to add. 16, 16, and 84. So let's go ahead and let's start adding those up. So I've got 16 plus another 16. I know that's 32. And then I've got to add 32 plus my 48. Oops plus 48. So let's add those. All right, so 8 and 2 is 10. So I put my 0, carry my 1. Oops, I'm still in the highlighter. Let's go back to the pen. Carry my 1. So 1 plus 3 plus 4 is another 4 plus 4 is 80. So now I've got 80, but it's not just 80 inches. It is 80 inches squared. 80 inches, and then I need to write squared. And I do that by putting that little 2. All right, so now let's look at how we can break up the shape when there aren't square units. We're going to use what we learned with perimeter for this one. So I'm going to divide this right here and I'm going to divide this right here. So I'm trying to figure out this square right here is going to be 3 by 3. This one is going to also be 3 by 3. Now this one we got to figure out. So let me put in my um, my three times my three, so we know we don't forget that. All right, so three times three equals nine. And then let me clone that over here. So I've got my three times my three. So down here now originally this line was six inches but I cut it off. So now I'm only concerned with this section right here. So how much is that? Well, I know if this is three and this was six, that means that what's left over has to be three. So I've got three here and then nine here. So I've got my three times my nine and that equals 27. Now I can go ahead and I can start adding up 9, 9, and 27. All right, so 9 and 9 I know is 18. 9 plus 9 equals 18. So now let me add my 27 to my 18. All right, let me draw my line under there. I'm adding these two numbers. All right, so we've got... 8 and 7, 15, carry the 1, 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4, so my answer is 45, and then it's inches, I-N squared, and that's your final answer there. All right, one more problem before the practice problems. Now we've got some missing sides. So we're going to combine everything we learned about perimeter and everything that we've learned about area to solve missing sides. All right, so let's figure out what's the missing side. 
this side is 6. This side is parallel, so that means that this side is also 6. Now let's check out this side and this side. So if this side's 4, that means this side has to be 4. And then we have one more missing side. Let's make that one blue. This one. Now, this one's a little bit tougher because if you look over here, the parallel side is 8. But this one and this one, if I combine this, if I slid this piece over, it would be even with a rectangle. So if this one's 2, 8 minus 2 is 6, then I minus 2 here, so it's got to be 4 because 8 minus 2 minus 2 equals 4. So this side has to be 4. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so now I have all my sides. Now I can figure out the area of the shape. So let me draw a line in here, and we're going to make it green so it stands out. I'm going to find the area here. I've got 4 times 4 here, and that equals 16. And then here I've got 6 by 8, so I've got 6 times 8 equals 48. And then I take my 48 and I add my 16. And I get 14 here, carry my 1, 64. And let's say that this was 64 feet, so it would be 64 feet squared. All right, now it's your turn. I did print out a copy of this, these problems, since the numbers were pretty small. So I want you to go ahead and solve your practice problems on a piece of paper, and you're going to turn that in tomorrow morning. Have a great night.